four, three. Welcome, everybody. It is that time again where you get to ask the coaches specific questions that's going through your mind right now. And we're in deep in a challenge second week. Everybody's getting results. But guess what? Some people have hit that dreaded plateau. Mm -hmm. So the question of the day is, I'm on a journey. I have a goal. And I've been losing weight up until this moment. I'm not at my goal yet. But for some reason, this past week, these past couple days, my weight has not moved. Jen, have you ever had that experience? Of course I have. But I don't really believe in plateaus, to be honest. Um, let's say you were 180 pounds and you lost 20 pounds. You had no muscle and now you do. And you lost some mm. fat. Well, now you're the new you, and this is your new normal. And one time somebody said that to me, this is your new normal. Now you have to figure out what this person needs to go to the next step, right? And it truly is um, is, is like that. When you first get out of the gate, you're going to rapidly change, right? And then things start to slow down as your heart rate slows down because you have become more fit. And then you got to figure out, what the 160 pound person needs to continue their progress. Mm. So obviously you got to tighten up the nutrition or add the water or exercise more or whatever it, it may be. They got to figure out a new plan. I find that I was the same for two years. I was the same and I was kind of irritated by that fact, you know, that my weight was the same, my muscle was the same and everything. And it took changing, dialing right in to a different program for me to make a change. Okay. So you have to you have to find out what that what do you want what it is. What is it? So so small tweaks, tweak to your program, change up your program somehow. Okay. Yeah. So somebody that's hit a plateau, then I think that they can look at other elements in their in their fitness as well because you know just because the weight has stopped, were you able to lift a little bit heavier? Were you able exactly. to run a little bit longer? Are you mm -hmm. sleeping better? Do you feel more comfortable? How are your pants yeah. fitting? So there's other elements that you could look at for wins outside of just the scale. Mm -hmm. I could look completely different at 150 pounds mm -hmm. and 150 pounds, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. you can always make those changes, not just about the weight. Ricky. Great question. Here's what I what I'm always fascinated by is why do people always have that number? So if I'm starting out in a, in a, my fitness journey, why do I just assume that I want to lose 30 pounds? Mm. Why is it 30 pounds? Why not 40? Why not 21? <laughs> yeah. Right? Why is it 30? And then therefore, if I don't hit 30, somehow I've uh, I've failed. Or if I get to 30, I've now plateaued. Mm -hmm. Like what? How do we determine that? I think mm -hmm. um, you know, for me, the first thing that I do is not worry about weight. I think weight is the worst. It's, you know, it's a, it's a way to gauge things. I guess it's, mm -hmm. it's a added tool in the arsenal, but for it to be the be all end all, I think it's almost a way for you to want to shoot yourself <laughs> right. mostly. Yeah. But I would agree with Jen. I think that, um, you know, once you, instead of focusing on a, you know, I've hit this plateau or I've only lost up half an ounce or whatever it is, forget saying stuff like that, but go back to the other wins that are happening. Like how do you feel in your clothes, mm -hmm. right? How does that waistband feel around your waist? Uh, how do you look in the mirror? Has anybody said, wow, you look really good these days? Do you have the ability to walk upstairs, uh, you know, without gassing out? Can you bend over and touch the floor? Like there's so many other wins that you could uh, that you could uh, go with or analyze or, or, or work with instead of just your weight. So if you don't hit that target, what are your options? Do you stop doing everything? Hell no. Or do you <laughs> keep going down that path? No, no, no. I mean, keep going, man. I think that you just you look, focus less on weight. Mm. You know, look at look at your overall picture. Look at uh, pictures now. You know, how did you look a year ago as opposed to how you look today? Well, in this how do you feel? In you this feel? challenge, there's we have what six different categories. So it's like, are you being consistent with your supplements? How many hours of fasting are you doing? How many liters of water are you drinking? How many steps a day? How many workouts are you doing? Mm -hmm. Then it's like, well, what's your weight at? So it's like one of the many, like you said, arsenals of measurements. So it's like the fact that one out of five or one out of six isn't going rapidly in the way that you can. Maybe you can look at those other elements mm -hmm. that I've listed and maybe you can, you know, up your supplement game, right? So I see some people that are only taking like the tissue rejuvenator, which is phenomenal for recovery. But what about everything else that we've, that we have out there that is proven in, with success? Uh, what about your fasting you're doing? I saw somebody doing 10 hours of fasting. Like that's literally you 
eat and then you kind of like wait an hour and then you go to bed and then you wake up and you get ready and then you eat right away. Mm -hmm. So it's like, can you step that up? Can you go to 12? Can you go to 14? What about water? Some people are putting in a liter of water and two liters is a struggle. Mm -hmm. Can you go to three? Right? So I think that if you want to question yourself as to why you've hit a plateau, mm -hmm. you need to look at the other elements mm -hmm. of success as well. Uh, Big Mama, have you ever hit a weight loss hey. plateau? I'm uh, currently there myself right now, and I've been stuck here for probably about over a year. Mm. Um, so personally, for me, you have to uh, set continuous daily small goals and to remember to always write them out because nothing is going to become achievable if you don't write it out. So mm -hmm. always put your thoughts to paper and then take action, right? Because you can always just say what you want to do, but if you don't actually write it down, then it's just going to remain a thought that's going to be out there. Mm -hmm. um, you need to go back to the drawing board, right? So where is it that you can make improvements? Is it that perhaps, you know, my diet is not 100% at par? Maybe I need to lower my intake of calories a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So for me per se, I'm about 12 pounds out of my goal. Um, however, I'd like to say that, yes, I have lost 102 pounds actually um, since I joined four years ago. Mm -hmm. So the first two years it took me to took me two years to, to lose 100 pounds. And at that moment in my life, I thought that that was phenomenal. And I was, okay, and now I'm here. Now what? So honestly, sky's the limit, right? You mm -hmm. should always set small goals, go through those goals continuously, surround yourself with people like-minded, of course, always like that. So who are you surrounded by? What are those people doing to you know, inspire you? Are they hitting their goals? And of course, shock the system, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're staying steady for a while, do something different that you don't do so that your, your body's like, wait, what, what, what are we doing here, right? So do a 24 hour fast, do a 14 hour fast, do something different. As I always say, you gotta get used to being uncomfortable, being comfortable, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Um, so for me, I just need to challenge myself all the time and set little goals and tell myself every day I got this. And even if I don't hit that 180 mark per se, maybe I'm not meant to be 180 pounds. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm meant to be 190 sexy. All the this is it, right? Mm -hmm. But agreed. For me personally, when I hit that 180, then my question is, then what? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so I've, I've hit it. Now what? You got to maintain it, mm -hmm. celebrate it, because that's a huge celebration for me personally. But uh, again, the sky's the limit. So put your mind to it, and the rest will take action. Well, it's funny you say that because I've never really heard you talk about your weight. So like when you look in, um, you know, if you look at a photo, you and I will look at a photo and you'll be like, look at my guns, right? You're talking about like an image and never once have I seen you. Oh, I look 10 pounds heavier on that photo. I've never heard anybody, but yet that seems to be the determining factor of our happiness and our fitness happiness. And so, um, I think that you should weigh yourself. I think that it's an important tool, but I don't think it should be your only tool. And so when I spoke to this, this um, uh, one of our clients who had hit a weight loss plateau, I said to her, she's like, well, what do I need to do? What do I need to change? Am I eating too low calories? Should I eat more protein? Should I drink more water? And I'm like, just do what you're doing. Don't change anything. I said, you've hit, you've lost so much weight to this point. I said, now you've hit not a plateau, but a set point. So everything that you're doing right now, you just need to maintain that. And if at some point in time, so I say four weeks, if you give it four weeks of doing the exact same thing that got you to where you are right now and nothing changes, then let's talk about making a 1% change. And it doesn't have to be a complete 180. I'm not going to go from doing, um, you know, uh, strength training to doing cardio to, you know, to completely change everything up. I think that you maintain what got you to where you are and then you start layering on things and testing things one piece at a time versus trying to like completely do a 180. Like all of a sudden you're, you know, a big meat eater and all of a sudden you're going to go to, you're going to go to uh, um, vegan. Like, I mean, unless you have some type of life changing phenomena in your, in that happens to you, I think that that's, that's definitely not the way to go. You find, you keep doing what got you there and what got you there is enough to keep you there, but it's not enough to get you to where you want to go. So you add to what you're currently doing. Is it fair enough to say that we're speaking to the challengers right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a very goal oriented group. Yeah. We've got specific goals. We wanted to hit certain things. <clears throat> so let me hit you with this as goal oriented people, you know, of course, uh, and I know, I, and you know, like the, the fit club crazies that we call them, right. Cause they're just so, mm -hmm. they work out so hard. They, <laughs> yeah. they follow the plan. They're the best. They're awesome. Yeah. We love every one of you. Yeah. 
But let me ask you this. Look at things a little bit different when it comes to the goals that you're hitting. So maybe you haven't hit that weight, okay? Maybe you haven't hit the weight. Although you probably have because if you're in this challenge, you've probably followed the system and you're probably doing really well. But Mm -hmm. let me ask you this. Are you smiling Mm -hmm. more every day? Are you having less arguments with, say, your spouse or your kids or uh, anybody at work? Mm -hmm. How are you around your children? Meaning, do you have that cool factor again? Are are, are younger people responding better to you? Mm -hmm. Because when you're healthy and you're happier, they respond a little bit better. You don't seem like that old person anymore. (laughs) Um, And um, what healthy habits have you developed compared to what you have in the past. Mm-hmm. And if you were to actually analyze it, and you know, it could be anything from food to walking to sleeping better. Mm-hmm. If you've done all those things, mm-hmm. you're, you know, I don't necessarily need to worry about the plateau of weight, but you're doing so much more mm-hmm. winning on the, uh, on the outside. Love it. Anything to add, ladies? No. We nailed it. We crushed it. I think we're all saying the same thing. So everybody, that's it. Yeah. Ask a coach, you get an answer. You want the real, you come to us. We'll see you in two weeks. We'll see you on the blue. blue.